It's your boy AD, and that's all day. And I'm up in the spot, and I'm finna talk about some real stuff, like I always do. But yeah, man, so today I'm finna talk about YouTube and what's been going on with the whole ad revenue thing. And I've been noticing a lot of people's views been dropping extremely hard. A lot of people have been losing um, uh, ad revenues and not, you know, getting a lot of their videos demonetized. A lot of people have been censored more as of lately, which I also noticed, too. And I'm just basically just about to talk about it, what I think about it, where things might go and what I think about YouTube as a general in the community. Well, first off, I'm going to start off the saying, like, what happened to YouTube? You know, now I'm not going to say I'm somebody who's been on YouTube for a long, long time, but I, I've definitely been on there for at least five years. And I'm somebody who used to be on there every day, all day, every day, all the time. And it's probably more than five years because when I like I started making my own videos like four years ago. But I was watching YouTube before that, you know, before I got my own. And I just remember YouTube being very like more cool place when it comes to the co people, the conversations, the content, you know, like even the way YouTube was laid out and was spaced to me seemed better. You know, now YouTube, even the way the layout of it is just terrible now compared to what YouTube used to be. It's a lot of things they should have kept that they got rid of. It's a lot of things that they got rid of that they should have kept. <laughs> you know, and one thing I'm really noticing though is people complain about, you know, the money thing and oh they're taking my ad revenues, you know. And I understand there's a lot of people that really took YouTube seriously and really wanted to get money from this and do it. But one thing I noticed about YouTube is YouTube pretty much has created a culture of a lot of culture of people who just want to look for fame. Because when you look at YouTube, a lot of the people that's on there are just people that's getting views and stuff, but just doing like normal things or things that they would do in their normal life, you know. And I'm not trying to talk mess about people. I'm just being honest. Like if you look, you'll notice like a lot of these YouTubers are doing normal things in their normal lives. Yeah, they might throw some editing in the video or something like that, but they're still doing normal things in their normal lives and getting paid for it, you know. And, and that's why a lot of people do get upset at YouTubers because it is a lot of hardworking people out there who work their butts off at some real hardworking jobs that don't get paid not even close to what a popular YouTuber can make. And I know of some YouTubers out here that are upset because they're like, hey, I create good content. I work so hard. And you know what? That's true. You may create good content. You may work hard. But it's still not as tough as other work with what other people be out here doing. I mean, real like a real job is always more than likely going to be harder than YouTube because you, now you got to follow some boss. Now you got to really do tedious work through hours. You know, YouTube, a lot of times be your own time. Like I know a lot of people got schedules and stuff, but it's still like like you're your own boss when it comes to YouTube. And that's what makes it kind of easier. And it really does become even more easier. Um, if you're getting paid to just do things you normally do, you know, and now here's something to think about, too. If YouTube really wasn't that great and if YouTube is so bad and this and that, you know, nobody would be on it. Like, that's why, you know, ever since YouTube been around, it's been a whole new amount of people that just don't want to work no more at a job or at least start something, but just want to get on YouTube now. You know, you got to look at that from that angle, just like Twitter and all everything else. You know, everybody want to get all the views. So maybe one day they can make some money, get some attention. Well, YouTube is the same way. Let me hurry up and get popular or something so I can get this money, get paid and live my life and just make videos, you know, and don't even have to worry about a nine to five and answer to a boss and worrying about being somewhere at a specific time. That's the difference between YouTube. And I know because I've done YouTube. Four years. Has YouTube paid me a lot of money? No. Have I ever monetized any of my videos? No, because I never looked at YouTube like it was supposed to be for that in the first place. You know, because now look at what's going on now. I mean, if you watch this video to this point, you can understand where this conversation is going, because look, look what's going on now. Look how all the YouTubers now are mad and acting like they want to quit YouTube and acting like 
they, they their content is going down like that's a big thing right now look at how many youtubers content has changed within the past year or just dropped in quality you know because people are so afraid of putting the video out and getting revenue but youtube was about people doing what they wanted to do and just showing the world it wasn't about money you know youtube shouldn't have never really been about money it should just be people willing to come out and show people things and do things. Now you got, like I said, this big, huge population of people who just want to get on YouTube and just make money. That's why everybody making a Patreon now. You see, they don't want to really work a real job. They don't want to start their own business or start something else. They just want to make YouTube videos, plain and simple. Now they have got Patreons. And now they're basically getting money from people to live their lives. You know, you're paying to watch them to make them live their lives. There's YouTubers out here who literally do beg people. Hey, y'all want me to go here and give me the money and stuff like that. Like, what? Like, this is what YouTube has created. Um, now, again, it's not trying to disrespect nobody. Because I do feel like there is some YouTubers that do deserve money. And that do deserve something. And you want to know which ones those are? I'm going to tell you right now. The YouTubers that I feel like really deserve a little something are the ones that's really trying to teach somebody something and help someone. Now, those are the YouTubers I feel like, yeah, they deserve something, you know. But I'm still not tell, advising these YouTubers, hey, go put all your eggs in one basket on YouTube. I'm not advising y'all to do that because I don't believe that's smart. You know, but I'm just saying, though, YouTube, man, it's crazy now, man. And you see they hitting whoever they want to hit with these ads and doing what they want to. YouTube has become more censorship now. Now they want you to be a specific way now if you want to make money and probably pay you less. It's like almost like a setup while a small percentage of YouTubers still making and get high views. Because, you know, they're willing to do whatever. I mean, it seems like they're just really picking and choosing which YouTuber to attack. And which YouTuber to just not for monetization. I've been paying attention and noticing the similarities. I definitely have. But one of the main things I noticed is the content drop. Like I said, a lot of people's contents that used to be really good are starting to fall off because of YouTube taking the money away. Which shows these, a lot of these YouTubers really are more into the money and getting the money than really entertaining fans. You know, this is a lot of YouTubers that are coming out here and be like, oh, this is for you. We do this for you. But if we're not getting paid, we won't do it. And I mean, they'll blatantly say the stuff and people will still pay them and act like they deserve it. When a lot of these people, again, don't even educate you nothing or teach you nothing. Like those are the people who deserve something. Somebody who could teach you something that can help you benefit your life. Those are the people that I say, yeah, give them something because those are the people willing to help. You got people out here, I mean, literally doing nothing in front of the camera and just getting, and, and, and a lot of people would be like, well, AD, you're just a hater and you're just mad. To be honest, no, I'm not because I could do whatever I want in front of the camera too. I don't underestimate myself. It's just, I'm not like that and I see it's not good and I see, and it's sad to see a lot of people who, falling for it, the YouTube thing and thought thinking YouTube was going to save you when you know YouTube was controlled since day one. Like, uh, I don't know why people thought that they YouTube would really just allow all these people to just leave the work workforce to just all of a sudden get on YouTube, make videos and live a better life. It ain't that easy. You see, I mean, I guess that's about it, though, man. And I'm just basically, that's what I think about it. Now you got, and where's YouTube going? Like now you got people getting more thirstier now. You got people, that's why you got more clickbaiting going on, more Patreon going on and stuff, because people just want the money now. People act like they don't really want to do YouTube like that, man. I mean, again, I've been doing YouTube for a while. I never care if I made a dollar or not. And no, I'm not rich and no shit like that. Just it's because it's not about that, you know. Yeah, people have donated to me a few times, you know, and I appreciate it. But I am here to actually help people and stuff, you know. And I never really ask. I mean, I'll leave the thing there, but I'm not begging nobody for nothing. Yeah, I thought about starting a Patreon, too. I can't lie, but 
you know, still, it's like, uh, but I would do it, because at least I, I, if I start a Patreon, I know it'll be some real good videos, man, like videos that I wouldn't normally put up on here that are really good, I'll probably put up on there, but I'll let y'all know about that, but, uh, but I'm not somebody that's like, oh, I hope YouTube and Patreon work so my life can go, like, no, I'm in my real world, my real life, thinking about how I'm gonna really get this stuff together in the real world, YouTube is cool, it's great, but as you can see, it's going down, and now people are getting lazier, because they're, they're upset, because they're taking their money away, you know, but it's like, it's YouTube, what do you expect? Like I said, all these, that's why you got everybody want to be, I mean, it's already bad enough we got all this other social media, you know, and now you got YouTube on top of it. Like, just think about that. Think about all these people that do not want to work. And again, this ain't no disrespect. I know some people out here that do deserve our honest dollar or two off YouTube, but that's all I got to say for it. I hope that, you know, let somebody know what's really going on because people got to understand, man, Hey, watch. Just watch who you give your money to. And watch who you watch, who you give, who you support. Because it is mighty strange to me how, man, so many of them are on that now. YouTube didn't used to be like this, man. It didn't. But, alright. I'll holler at y'all later.